Oh yeah. The shelves are coming. They've been sprayed. They've just been a bit delayed fitting them. The woman's on holiday and I haven't been too well. I've just been asked a question on one of my videos. Kitchen fitting part 12, spraying the doors. It says, are these doors you made out of beach? If they're to be painted, why not use a cheaper wood or even MDF? MDF doors is a totally different job. Cheap, cheap nasty. And I've stopped using pine, cheaper wood. The next up from pine is Tulip or Beach. Let's read the comment out here. Yes, these have a beach frame and MRMDF panel. I offer all the options to my clients, but I try, but I try not using the cheaper wood, like pine, because it's soft. The shrinkage and warping was too much. Knots in it can bleed and spoil the paint surface. The grain of the wood can show through a lot. I have regular clients who get the chance to see my previous work as it ages, and some of the doors have, have shrunk, you know, a bit too much. The couple of mil gap that I left is more like four or five, six mil now. And the message as I wrote, tulip is a similar price to beach but can be stringy to cut plain and sand. Tulip is also in consistent colour which can sometimes show through paler coloured paints. It ranges from pale, pale cream, right through to almost black. And when you sand it, it's, it's a bit like soft wood, you know, it sort of goes a bit feathery. But beach is a lovely wood to work with, plain sands and cuts very well. It's a stable wood with very few knots, so very little warping and shrinking. You can feel the difference, the hardness of the wood versus the pine. When the doors are finished, you, you can feel how it's cold and hard rather than warm and soft like pine is. It just gives it a better feel and lasts a lot, lot longer than cheap wood. And the extra price in the long run, it's nothing. The amount this job costs, it would be logical to skimp on the quality of the wood. The work I have to put in to make these doors is the same, so in the total of the job it adds up to very little. And completely MDF doors, basically rubbish. Might as well go buy some off a shelf. Anyway, to the price of the wood, to show you how I work on it. On my screen here, I have my drawing, this is the wardrobe I built, and on here I can turn off doors and front frame, so I'm just left with the carcass, I can even turn that off if I want, and all the hanging rails, put the doors back on, and I've got all my sizes here, and on here I've got a spreadsheet I'm using OpenOffice at the moment. Microsoft Excel stopped working when I went to Windows 10. And 365, I think it is, I got bored of paying them. So, anyway, got this one. And from here, from my drawing, I can work out my sizes. I've got my video in thing there. This will record this screen, so I'll go to this. Right here on my spreadsheet I have a list here where I can put in whatever item I want. So we're going to have beach door. And then here I can choose any of the materials that I've got on this other sheet. Which range from paints, hardware, screws, plaster, uh, sealants, treated posts, fencing stuff, plywoods and MDFs up here. And in the middle here, I've got a calculation set up for doors, you see oven bottom, drawers, dishwasher, sink. What I can do is put a one in there, just one of those doors. And it tells me what I need here. Well, tells me what it's going to cost here. So £7.63 for beach for a 24 inch door, which is standard 600mm, with 28 inch high, with a 4 inch wide style. 
it also tells me the size of the panel or the price of the panel should I say and added dominoes for each door so at the bottom here I can add it all up add up how much all the doors would cost let's simplify it I've already got these in let's take them out We've just done this like I say so we've got top rail here we need one of them and up here got the thickness the length the width and then the cubic size of the wood so here we've got the thickness which is one inch the length 24 and the rail style is 4 inch here we've got styles we need two of those one inch thick 28 inch that's standard height ish 720 small 715 and then 4 inch wide and then the bottom rail that's the same as the top rail but we'll put it in separately so 1 1 24 now each one of these is 1 times 24 times 4 gives me 96 cubic inches for 1 rail times 2 pence on my materials here I just find hardwoods hardwoods there, beach this is the price I get £24 a cubic foot so I've divided it by 12 that gives me that's 0.1 something it adds up to 0.2 it's 0.1 something it is if you go into the decimal if you go into the decimal points so anyway, 0.2 a cubic inch times 96 gives me £1.76 so totally £7.63 I go back up here put one in there so it's the same as that £7.63 for the timber so if I go back here and I go here equals that price there equals that price there is £7.63 I'll just put hardwood in here hardwoods beach and then we can add an MDF panel this is the same for both doors so I don't really need to add this but MDF 9mm now I know I've worked out you can get about 10 or 12 out of one board so point 0.1 and some dominoes number 800 8 of those so one door equals £10.68 so let's make a pine door now timber PSE 4 inch timber 4 by 1 comes in at about 95 by 20 mil that's too small for me but, but for this example and I've already worked out it's 4.12 meters Four, four by one's too small I'd, I'd have to buy maybe inch and a half stuff and plane it down because it's never flat or straight is this stuff but for that it's okay for this example it's okay MDF 9mm 
quite warm. Dominoes. Eight three hundred. Eight. So you see the beach door actually comes in cheaper. And this pine door, I'm in this example I've got 4B1, which is too small. I'd probably have to use 4B1 and a half so that I can plane it down. And then as soon as you start planing this stuff down it starts warping even more. So I'd have to use like 4B1 and a half. Because I plane it down to about 80 mil. See 3B1. 2B1 would be cheaper. Pound a metre. That sounds about right. These are Milford's prices, so they're a bit more expensive than Labour's. If I used 4 by one and a half, let's say, see £14 pound against £10. Pound. So beach doors, you know, it's, it's, it's not you're not using expensive materials, really. Unless well, some, some of my calculations are wrong here, but £24 a cubic foot. And if I think about the price of a plank, a plank's about 12 quid or so, 14 pound, it's about half a cubic foot. And I reckon I could probably get the best part of the door out of it. Best part of two doors, should I say, out of a plank. So £7.60, yeah, that sounds about right. So yeah, beach, a lot better quality, a lot longer lasting and not really more expensive, if more expensive at all. Because let's reduce that to 3 by one there. It's as cheap as you can go. It's off the shelf stuff, 3 inch wide, which is only 70mm and as I've shown in my videos, you can't really get two dominoes and a groove into 70mm. That's £8.26, you know it's £2. Nothing. Right, I just want to add this to that. My price that I've got on there is in cubic feet. That's because ages ago I was given a cubic foot measurement and that's what I set it up as. But the prices I get are here. Cubic meter price. They seem to vary. It depends, I guess, how... I guess it depends what they pay when they buy it. But this one's 842. It's one of the higher ones. This was June this year. And you can see here, I bought 11 3.1 meter lengths at 155 mil. I can almost get two 80 mil pieces out of that, two 75s. It's a bit tight. You see there, 11. It cost me 115 pound. And to convert that. If we get thousand millimeters divided by 25.14666 which is an inch in metric we get 39 of those so that's 39 inches per meter 39.7 times it by itself we get 1581 inches per square meter and if we times it by 39 again that's 62,886 cubic inches per cubic meter so if we get 842 divide that by that 62,000 so 842 is the price of a cubic metre and we divide it by how many cubic inches there are in it that gives us 0.0133 pence per cubic inch one rail is one inch thick times 24 inch long times 4 inch wide so we get 96 cubic inches per rail. If we times that by the price 
which is the 013 equals £1.28 so one rail for the doors is £1.28 so my calculations earlier were pretty much right it's just it's this price this price of per meter um, it's this price of the cubic meter that changes a little bit but you can see cheaper than you think just wanted to add that just to confirm for myself if anything else <laughs> 